It came out in 1968, directed by Henry Hathaway. The leads are Dean Martin and Robert Mitchum. This was in a period where soft westerns were coming out the same vein as Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, though not as polished studio fodder and yet i found five card stud be entertaining dean martin's character out west in the 1800s is part of a poker game a stranger is found to have cheated the other guys at the game hang the newcomer and dean martin tries to stop it but he can't Martin is disgusted with the town, so he takes off. But he comes back after he hears that the other guys at the poker game are being knocked off. There are a couple of new people in town. Inger Stevens runs a barbershop. She has a nice presence. And Robert Mitchum as a reverend. As soon as you see who's playing the reverend, you realize this guy is not who he is presenting himself as. People being knocked off. When are they going to get around to... Dean Martin, since he was there too. Dean Martin is, is very entertaining in his Rio Bravo style, and Mitchum is always Mitchum. Yafet Koto has a substantial supporting part. Like I said, soft western tone. Uh, Henry Hathaway and Dean Martin early worked on The Sons of Katie Elder, which is another one of those, as well as, to me, uh, Bandolero, uh, which was Jimmy Stewart and Dean Martin playing brothers. Five Card Stud is professionally shot. Henry Hathaway has a long history in Hollywood. Everyone involved knows what they're doing, and they just deliver a decent entertainment. I know I don't make it sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but it isn't. It's just a very comfortable Western that if you just want to sit back and watch something play out that's going to hold your interest for the two hours, then it's a pretty good shot. I really like Martin, and I really like Mitchum. And they and Inger Stevens and Jaffet Koto in particular all work well together. So give it a shot. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.